What's going on guys? My name is Lieben and today I'm back with part 2 of the 350Z um, exhaust install. As you guys can see, I have the NVIDIA Gemini, Gemini exhaust here. Those are the tips right there. I've gone ahead and put the car in jack stands and now basically I'm going to go remove the one it currently has so I can go ahead and install this one. Alright so if you guys remember last time I installed the cats so those are going to be staying on. I'm just going to be removing from from the back um, all the way down. That's going to be the part that I remove. So basically I'm going to start off by disconnecting it for, or unbolting it from those two right there and then I will just move along. I'll try to take it off like I took the other one off. I took it off in two pieces. Um, that seems easier than having to take it off in, I think it comes like in four separate pieces. Um, but we can always just slide it through. There is like a cross member going through right there. But we can just go ahead and unbolt it from here. And then slide it forward towards the front of the car. And that way we can slip it out without having to separate both pieces. Although this one is just actually one piece unlike the NVIDIA one. So that seems to be the only way to take it out. Okay, so I know it's gonna be different for everyone depending on what exhaust setup they have. Oh, just waiting for that motorcycle to pass. But in case you were wondering, for this setup that it has right now, both of those, um, the bolt and the nut were both 14 millimeter, which made it really easy to be able to take off. So now that is disconnected and that side is disconnected so now we move on further down alright guys and here is the front section of the exhaust off those right there were all 18 millimeters and where I decided to disconnect it from was actually right there so once those came off I was just able to slide it back through here and then it fell down so actually that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be and thank goodness none of these bolts were seized either. That made it a lot easier. So now, with this back piece right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and try taking it all off at once. It has one hanger right there, and then it has two more on each side of the um, the tips. So there does seem to be one bolt that I'm gonna have to take off. Let's see if I can zoom in. So that one right there has like a ground wire going to it. I followed it and it's just connected to the chassis, chassis of the car. Uh, I really don't know what purpose it serves. I know the other Z didn't have anything like that. If anyone can let me know if it serves a purpose, I'll go ahead and reconnect it when I install the other one. Um, but yeah, I really don't know what exactly it, it's doing. But anyways, I'll just go ahead and unbolt that one right there. Alright, so the ground wire right there has been disconnected. And as usual, these hangers are always a pain to take out. So, I went ahead and grabbed some um, plumber pliers and just yanked on it, twisted it until I was able to finally pull it out. But now that that's over, the last thing to take off the remaining exhaust should be just to repeat the same thing with the hangers on each side. Um, I did spray WD-40. Um, it, it did help a little bit. It made it a lot easier for it to slide. So I would recommend doing that. Okay, and it seems that this exhaust here has an extra hanger that um, the NVIDIA one I did not see had. So there's one right here. I've already sprayed it with WD-40. Then we have one up there behind the muffler. And then we have one up here, which is also above and behind this muffler right here. So first I'll try to take this one off. Um, and then hopefully that allows me to push this further back and to be able to take those ones off. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait a little bit and wait for the um, WD-40 to penetrate a little more and then I'll just use the pliers and try to take them all off the same way. So I was able to finally take off all of the hangers on both sides there. And then I realized that because this one is different than 
the NVIDIA, one of the um, exhaust pipes goes through or on the inside of that like sway bar while the other one goes on the outside so I will have to disconnect I'll try to just um, unbolt one of those to see if I can pass it through if not I'll just have to go ahead and unbolt both sides of the exhaust to be able to drop it down but yeah so far the most annoying and difficult part of this has been trying to get those exhaust hangers out of those uh, rubber bushings or whatever they're called um, smashed my thumb but you know that's pretty normal for any time I do mechanic stuff but yeah let's go ahead and get the last step of taking this exhaust off alright guys and here we have the Z without an exhaust I am a little tempted to turn it on to see how it sounds but I don't want to risk you know damaging anything or burning anything uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that and bring out the NVIDIA exhaust and start installing that one alright guys and finally we have both of the exhaust here here we have the new one that's gonna go on or the newer one and here we have the one that was already on the car so I'm pretty sure this was just like a no brand possibly just like a eBay exhaust I haven't found any uh, symbol symbol or a logo on it so yeah I'm pretty sure it's just a cheap aftermarket one but yeah now I will be installing this one and hopefully it makes the sound the car a little better um, and honestly if it sounded a little bit quieter I really wouldn't mind that either but yeah we'll find out soon enough <laughs> alright guys I went ahead and installed the first part of the other exhaust as you can see it's bolted onto this cat right here and to that cat right there basically what I did to make it easier um, over there I don't know if you can tell but there's two pieces um, I went ahead and kept those connected like that so then I could feed it through the cross member bar and then just have to pick it up from this end and having to bolt it right there that just made it easier not having to hold the weight of the of the exhaust piping while having to install it that kind of helped a little bit too so now hopefully I can install the rest of the exhaust just in one piece by bolting it on to the end over there Let's see if I can zoom in yeah so I can connect it right there and then just connect it to the hangers and then that should be it okay so because of that mid sway bar that goes through where the exhaust goes I had to go ahead and disconnect that side again and again what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is connect the hangers first so it helps me not have to pick up the whole exhaust and then go ahead and connect it in the midpoint right over there one eternity later okay guys so this did not go as planned <laughs> I ended up just taking everything apart both this part of the exhaust from the actual muffler as well as the other pipe as well um, the reason being is for this one while it was connected I wasn't able to put it into the hanger it was a lot easier just disconnecting it from here and then from here and then putting it on there and then for this one I actually didn't have to disconnect it I ended up doing it because I thought it was the same as the other one where it goes in through here but it actually doesn't it goes underneath so there's no point in disconnecting that one um, I have gotten it uh, let's see here right there it's connected to that hanger and to that one there too and like I said this one here did not have a place for this hanger so it is actually just right here I'll just leave it there if anything hopefully it's like a shock absorber and if it like moves it doesn't bang on anything but I mean I don't know I just honestly I just don't feel like taking it off from the other end because I know that's also going to be a pain um, but yeah guys so now the last thing to do is actually the best part which is putting on the tips the, the burnt blue tips and the, yeah that's going to be it that's going to be the complete install of the exhaust so I'll go ahead and go get those and put them on oh and then another thing 
this wire here um, the where it was connected on the other exhaust it was around here but since this one is different it actually doesn't connect until back here and that didn't reach so I decided to go ahead and just connect uh, bolt it down to there all right and there we have it guys the exhaust is finally fully installed and if you guys can see the only thing that I know that's gonna bother me is the gap between this right here this tip and the bumper compared to this one right here if you can see that one's a lot closer than that one right there but I believe part of the issue is because the design of the exhaust if you see this one right here goes underneath while this exhaust right here goes over it which is why I think it's not even and this one's a bit higher because you can see all back here it's above the right side but yeah I think I'm eventually gonna install a rear lip uh, rear bumper lip to this so hopefully that kinda fixes it and you can't tell as much but meanwhile um, I'll just live with it I'll see if I can do anything to maybe lift up this side not, or lower the other side but I mean it's not that big of a deal so I'll go ahead and turn it on and show you guys a little clip of how it sounds show you guys a little clip of how it sounds and um, my previous video had how the other exhaust sounded um, I might put that clip back on here too um, I honestly with this camera I don't know if you guys will hear that much of a difference but I can go ahead and do that but yeah guys I finally have the Nvidia exhaust installed on my car so I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Okay guys, so after I put the car down, something was not sitting right with me. If you guys notice, this pipe right here was going underneath the sway bar. And I was like, why does that not seem correct? Because the previous one, it went over here. The bad thing is that I just took this off from the grazy and I couldn't remember how it went. But I went with my gut feeling and started searching online and I found on the forum that yes this does go above and the strange thing is that this pipe right here can go either way so I actually had it not only backwards so I had that and here I also had it flipped upside down so this side right here was pointing up and vice versa so I had it backwards and upside down but after I checked that I just took it off and fixed it and now that is so much better because now at least on this one there's no protection but at least on this one there is and before it like do you see that right there that's like five inches that it was beneath the sway bar and I'm like that is way too low with anything I was gonna be scraping and damaging the exhaust but I finally got that figured out and at um, <laughs> I can be a little more uh, relaxed about that but yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and let you guys know.